Hey there, it's Casey from Rewire Realty. I am super excited to be doing this 10 week series um, on the home buying process. So this is week number three. And um, in the first week we went over step one, which was to meet with a realtor. And for those of you who don't know and are just tuning in, I am a realtor and I can help you um, or your friends and family and I can help you buy, sell, rent, or invest in residential or commercial real estate. So um, give me a call if you need my assistance. Step two is to establish a representation agreement. And I went over kind of what that meant um, in a nutshell last week. So if you didn't see that, then I suggest for you to go back and watch the video because that is one of the important steps of the process. Um, so now I'm gonna do step three, which is gonna be to find your comfort zone and obtain a pre-approval. So what a comfort zone means, what I'm saying is, cause you're like, Casey, what's a comfort zone? Like, <laughs> what? A, like I'm comfortable right here. Like, no, you're like, <laughs> that's not what I mean. So your comfort zone, what I mean by that is how much are you comfortable paying for your monthly mortgage um, per month? And whether it's more than your rent or less than your rent, like that's, that's okay. We just have to figure out what are you comfortable with paying because you could have gotten a raise, you could afford more now, or you, you know, maybe you want to cut down your expenses a little bit. So you want to lower house payment. So, um, the, everyone's different. And so I need to get to know your situation and kind of what we need to do from that step. So, um, when you find your comfort zone, we'll get you in touch with a lender. If you don't already have one in mind, um, my guys are great. And so, um, I know that they're going to get you taken care of and make sure that, um, everything goes as smooth as possible. So if you don't have a lender yet, uh, give me a call. I can hook you up with one of those two. And the reason that you want to obtain that pre-approval is so that we know what price range to look in when we move into step four. So, and I'll go over step four next week, but, um, you, you want to have that, you want to know what price range should be looking in because, you know, you could think that maybe you can't afford something and you can, or maybe you just need to go a little bit lower than what you, what you think. So, the pre-approval letter is going to give us a clear definition of the price range that we need to be in when we're looking for a home. And so um, I will go over step four next week. Thank you for tuning in. And um, I love you guys. And thank you for your love and support so far. And step four is coming next week. So tune in for that. Y'all have a great day. Bye.